those two are the same thing, but the common word for it is Morton's neuroma, which is a misnomer, and so we're here to dispel that myth. Morton's neuralgia, as it turns out, is not a true growth of the nerve, but is a compression type injury of the peripheral nerve as it, as it is in the plantar aspect of the foot heading out towards the toes. It produces some remarkable symptoms that have folks limping in through the door. Uh, if, if we bear in mind that it's not a true mass and not a true growth on the nerve, uh, then that changes our whole treatment algorithm. The diagnostic options are, are fairly limited because it's such a small peripheral nerve that causes such a big problem. MRIs and ultrasounds, while they can see the nerve if it's enlarged more than say five or six millimeters, uh, they don't see it when it is smaller than that. And, and so the physical exam becomes really the, the key part of diagnosing Morton's neuritis. The conservative care that seems to work best is altering the shoe gear and trying to avoid the pinching of the nerve. If we bear in mind that the nerve's compressed, we try to uncompress the nerve by utilizing some sort of external forces. Unfortunately, the results with other conservative care, be it foot orthoses or specialized inserts that go inside shoes, injections, alcohol, steroids, um, the, the results are not enduring, they don't last, and folks end up in the, in the operating room as a, as a majority of the ultimate treatment. And that is a big part of where we part ways with what's been commonly taught. The role of surgery through my training and through many before me and many, many after me, still to this day, is excising the nerve. And yet there's nowhere else in the body that we excise a compressed nerve. We uncompress the nerves. And when we look at the results of excision of the nerve, there's, it's fraught with complications. You've now created a, a numb area on the foot, and if you're going to walk on that numb area, it's a foot at risk for, for injury that they don't, they're not aware of. We also find that once you cut the nerve, of course, you form a true neuroma, and those true neuromas become painful. So the satisfaction when you look down the road, years down the road, is poor with excision of the neuroma. If you decompress the neuroma, take the pressure off the neuroma, much like you would in carpal tunnel syndrome, the results are very similar. They're wonderful. And so a big part of my goal is to tell folks quit removing compressed nerves, decompress the nerve.